hello friends welcome back to my channel fitness geek uh, in today's video we are going to install azure cli command line interface so uh, as we know uh, azure gives you lots of uh, tools to actually manage the infrastructure so azure cli uh, is their command line interface which is cross platform it can work on mac os or linux or windows and yeah you can use it to actually manage the azure resources or you can create them destroy them or you know overall administration as well so let's uh, do the installation on windows i've got a windows machine with myself and i'm going to install the azure cli so you just go to the uh, install page and click install uh, get the latest version it will start downloading and once we have it downloaded you just need to right click and open it uh, this is windows 11 uh, if you have older ones you'll have run as admin option as well so you can run it as admin i'll go ahead and accept the terms and condition if you look at this it might collect some data but uh yeah i mean who cares right <laughs> so we just um, click on install uh, the install begins it takes like three to five minutes maximum uh, let me just uh, quickly fast forward this and yep it is installed so once you have it installed uh, if you have any terminals open where you actually want to use it you need to close it and you know uh, open it again i mean just uh, yeah so if you have any terminals open uh, i don't have any terminals so i'll just open a new session you run az enter and if it has successfully installed you will get this result so yes we have got our az cli installed successfully this is the page that will come welcome to the cool new azure cli so yeah i'm just using the command prompt right now you can be using anything uh, doesn't matter if it, it even if you have your PowerShell open, you can run it from there, no problem. All right, so let's see what's the version of this. AZ space hyphen hyphen version. So currently, uh, as we install the latest one, that's 2.441 quick one if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please do subscribe that will help me uh, get more visibility and uh, you know i'll be able to share my knowledge and all all the information that i have with more people so our cli is ready let's do an azure account h so you can use hyphen h which will give you uh, all the you know uh, it's like it's it's more of what are options available for that particular command so if you are using az account h it will tell you what all things you can do with this so if you see the subgroups there is lock there is clear there is list so if we do az account list hyphen h so it will tell you after list what all commands you can use so this is very self explanatory so you can use hyphen h to literally you know just learn everything from cli itself you don't have to uh, go ahead and you know, uh, read the documentation or anything you can just use this particular cli and yeah it will tell you what all things uh, you need to know which all commands which commands will uh, do what so it will give you all the description as well so now that we know how we use it let's do something so if you do an az command and since the there wasn't like it did not expect az command i mean az account it will tell you what all things are actually required the arguments that are actually required so you see az account list you can do az account show you can set the subscription so this az cli gives you so much of information here itself 
that you don't need to actually go and read the documentation. If you see, it tells you what all things you need to do with examples. So you do a AZ login, pick your account, and you should be logged in now. And let's see. Yeah. So you will see the information of our Azure subscription. Uh, cloud name is Azure Cloud. My name, uh, my subscription name is Fitness Geek Demo. And yeah, so that that's the information of my subscription. Let's do something. Uh, let's do an AZ account. An H. This is my subscription that we have logged in from our CLI. There are no resources, no resource groups, nothing. It's a brand new subscription. Let me move it a bit to the center. So let's create a resource group. So you do AZ group. And since we don't know the command, like I'm just doing it as I don't do anything. So I do az group and hyphen h and then it tells me what all things I can do. I want to create. So let me do az group create hyphen h. It will give you an example of how you can create it. So this is very helpful. I mean, from Azure CLI, you just use this help commands and you will be able to get all the information. What all? Uh, arguments are available how do you create it how do you delete it even with examples so let's go ahead and create one so there are few arguments that are required so if you, if you don't provide those arguments uh, it will throw an error and it will also tell you that there's an argument missing and what is missing and it will also tell you which are the required arguments for az group create location and the name of the resource group are required so let's so if you see there's an example so we're just gonna do az group create hyphen L, which is for location, we'll do UK South space hyphen N, name of the resource group, fitness geek hyphen RG. I'm just using a suffix RG for resource group. I always do that. So there are, okay, so if you see we have created that resource group successfully. the provisioning state succeeded let's go back to our subscription in the portal refresh it it takes a couple of not not, not too long but yeah you will need to refresh it As you can see we have got our resource group fitness geek hyphen rg created uh, let's try to edit something For example, let's try to just update that tags for the resource group. So if you see the help command for az group create, there is a command called for update as well. So we'll use update to update the tags. Yeah. 
easy group update let's quickly check the argument for tags so it should be hyphen hyphen tags and space separated tags it's a key value pair so hyphen hyphen tags application equals to test app so we're just creating a tag for application equals to test app uh, so there's this error unrecognized argument l location so for update location is not expected so i'll just remove that So the error are so self-explanatory that you don't have to actually go to Stack Overflow or anything to actually see what, what the error means. It gives you all the AI knowledge base. And yeah, this should be it. Uh, okay. actually there is a mistake i'll need to remove the hyphen n hyphen n is for the name of the group when you actually create it to update you need the hyphen g which is for resource group so it has created the tags let's go ahead and check let me refresh it if you see it has done it probably i'll need to refresh the entire page uh, okay let me refresh it from here and yes you can see the tags now so the tags has been successfully created so this is how you use azure cli to create resources and manage them Please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't done yet. And yes, thank you for watching this video and keep supporting. Thank you.